Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. If you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Click that button down below and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, please don't forget to click that bell and turn on your post notifications so you can get notified of any future videos. So today we have this look here and it's super bold and I have a bold lip like, wow. Like I don't really do lip colors like this, but you know what? Sometimes once in a while, it's just, it's something that I'm feeling and I make it happen. So today I originally wanted to do something with the shade orange, but you know, things change, things happen. And this is the look I came up with. So um, if you own the Jaclyn Hill volume two palette, then pause this video real quick, real quick, run and get it. And we can create this look together. All right. So um, also if you don't have this look, you don't need to have this color. Um, you can go in with a different shade. You can also use eyeshadow to create a lipstick if you really want to. Um, and yeah, this is it. So if you guys want to see how to create this look, let's do it together. And yeah, just keep on watching. All right, you guys. So we're just going to jump right into today's video. As you can see, I have my brows already filled in. I have my eyes prepped and ready. And now I'm going to show you the palette I'm going to be using today. It is the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette in collaboration with Morphe. I love this palette, you guys. Like, I absolutely love it. If you haven't seen it, where have you been? It is gorgeous. I've done a couple of looks with this palette already, and I was like, you know what? I'm feeling kind of bold today. I want to do something colorful and just something fun. You know what I mean? So that is the palette we're going to be working with today. If you have it, take it out. And I'm feeling kind of like pink orange orangey vibes I don't know but I'm really into this palette like I love the colors in here they're just so fun and they make me happy you know what I mean and honestly like ugh, I love this palette I love her first one but this one just it, it's giving me like life you know what I mean like it's just so freaking pretty so we're gonna jump right in with a morphe brush and the Morphe brush I'm going to be using is the Morphe M441. So I'm going to go right in with, mm, it's a little dusty orange in there. All right. So I'm going to go in with no joke. All right. Whew. Obviously there is some pickup, but we're not here for that. We're just here for the look. Okay. Here to see what look we can create with this palette today. All right, so going in with the brush, I am just going to apply that in the crease and use it as our transition shade. And obviously you would have to build this shade up for sure. Build it, build it up. You guys, I'm actually going to apply a little bit of tape for today's eye look, so give me a second. All right, you guys, so now that I have the tape, on, I am going to be going in with this brush here. This is a ColourPop E16. Now I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of my man right here. Just a little bit of that color. And I'm going to be applying that right here on the outer V and into the crease. I feel like I'm starting to look a little bit like Hot Cheetos. <laughs> like a Hot Cheetos bag, you know? All right, so now I'm going to be grabbing this shade here, a little bit of heart on actually do i want to go on with heart on i don't even know right now mm, kind of want to go in with a little bit of heart on right here and a little bit of next i don't know i don't know what i'm doing here at this moment and i really hope i don't screw up and the brush i'm actually grabbing is a bh cosmetics number eight brush Actually, no, we're not going to use that brush because that brush is not working. So 
We're gonna go in with the ColourPop E18, and I'm gonna go in with just Hard On. I feel like Hard On's a better shade. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of Hard On here. I feel like I'm looking like a bag of flaming hot Cheetos. That's what I feel like right now. So, um, yeah, no, I don't know what happened just now, but we are looking like a flaming bag of hot Cheetos. What do you think? I think so. And I don't even eat like Cheetos. So it's just funny how it kind of reminds me of that right now. But you know what? It's fine. I think it's pretty. I think this look is definitely going to work out for me today. Ooh, I love that. I love how nice this like shaped my eye just now. I'm gonna go right back in with that E16 and I'm gonna go in with my man a little bit more. All right, so now I'm actually gonna go back in with the Morphe M441 and I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that yellow and apply that right up here, just a little more just to bring it out a little more and I want to bring this shade out a little bit more so we're gonna go in with that and we want to make sure that this yellow gets more of a moment that looks really pretty I actually really like that all right so I'm going to go back in with the Morphe M, um, wow, with the ColourPop E16 brush, and I'm just going to blend out the edges here with that no additional product. I'm just bringing, blending out the edges here just to soften them up, make sure there's no like harsh lines here. Make sure these are nice and blended. All right, you guys, now that my eyes are looking like a flaming bag of hot Cheetos, <laughs> it was definitely not the look I was going for. I was going for more of an orangey vibe today, but this will do. Um, you guys know that what, sometimes you have this look in mind, but once you get your hands into the palette, things change. So yeah, but this is what we got going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the tape, clean off the fallout, and go in with some lashes as you guys already know and then I'll be back to finish off the rest of the makeup look. Alright you guys so as you can see I finished applying my lashes. I also want to let you know that I did go in with a little bit of liquid eyeliner. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex liquid eyeliner and you guys amazing! so good I had to even sing amazing because it's that amazing. <laughs> um, so I also went in with the Ardell 3D Faux Mink 854s um, in case you were curious and it's super easy to apply you guys and they're really pretty so for face primer I'm gonna go in with this one right here this is the wet n wild uh, prime focus primer serum just going to apply that all over today just like that I always wondered how people did that like I was scared that it was like gonna drip down my face but it didn't, as you can see. See, let's see. Let's see if we can make this look as fancy as all the other YouTubers. <laughs> um, yeah, no. It was fine. It didn't like drip down and make me look like a like an idiot, but <laughs> you know, they make everything look so perfect. You know, I know not everything is perfect, but sometimes it's like wow. <laughs> All right, anyways, now that we're done with that, I am going to go in with a little bit of the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, which is this one here, just in the pores area. As per usual, you know, usually going with this, just a tad bit in these areas. Pat that in there. All righty. So for foundation today, I'm kind of feeling the Estee Lauder. I've been loving this when I, you know, 
film my videos. I've been really, really wanting to gravitate to just this one, but I'm preventing myself from doing that. Like I'm really holding back because I have so many foundations, you guys, and nobody needs this many foundations. It's just that I love testing out makeup and, you know, having a variety of, you know, of selection, you know? I love a selection when, you know, depending on the occasion or whatever, but when I come across a foundation that just works really amazing, and this is one of the foundations that I absolutely love, and I know a lot of people talk about it and rave about it, and it's honestly the truth. Um, and people like they'll stop using it and then go right back to it because it's that good So I'm gonna be using this today, and I'm gonna be using my elf sponge All right, so moving on to concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer. This one is in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm just going to go in and blend that with the e.l.f. sponge. I'm gonna grab a little brush just to get into the inner corner here because it's hard to get in there with a sponge, as you can see. So I like to go in with a little brush and make sure it's blended out really good in there. We don't miss anything. And I also forgot how great this concealer is. I'm gonna have to start using this more. It is a little light but I love the creaminess of it. It's so good and it's nice and like full coverage, which is good. I didn't need to really go in with a lot. A little bit definitely goes a long way with the Milani concealer, you guys, so just remember that. <laughs> All right, so now I need to bring some color back into the face, so I'm gonna go back into my stash and I'm going to pick up the shade Honey from the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear Concealer. Um, right? Did I say that right? I'm gonna grab the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer in the shade Honey. Okay, there you go. So, a little bit of this also goes a long way, you guys. And I'm going to be grabbing my, of course, my favorite brush to blend out my cream contour or bronzer. This is my Real Techniques brush. All right, so now that I'm done using the brush, I'm gonna go right back in with the e.l.f. sponge and I'm just going to go over everything. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my RCMA powder. You guys already know this is like my favorite. I'm gonna be setting my under eye now with the e.l.f. sponge. All right, so in my last video, I did go in with this from Too Faced. This is the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I told you guys that I completely forgot how good this is, and I will be using it again. So here I am again with it today, and it's really good, you guys. I can't believe I forgot all about this bronzer. So I'm just gonna be using my um, Kenzie Contour Brush. All right, so now I'm just gonna jump right back into the eyes, you guys. Going in with the palette, I am going to be grabbing the Morphe M507 and going in with a little bit of Heart On and My Man together and applying that on the lower lash line. All right, so now I'm gonna switch brushes. I'm gonna grab the Morphe M562, and I'm going to be grabbing a little bit more of just my man with that brush and blending the lower lash line. I feel like this brush gives it more of a softer look on the lower lash line. All right, so now I'm gonna grab the NYX eyeliner, and I'm just going to apply that on the waterline.
All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with some blush. I think I'm gonna go in with the um, Tarte palette here. This is the Blush Bazaar palette. And I'm gonna go in with Exhilarating. It's more of like a pinky shade here, and I feel like it's gonna go well with this eye look. And I'm gonna add a little bit of Fortunate, which is this like orangey coral shade. And a little bit on the bridge of the nose, just like that. And for the highlighter, I'm gonna be going in with the ABH Sun Dipped Palette. This is the Morphe M510 brush, and the shade is Summer. This one right here, you guys, I love this highlighter. Ooh, 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 I love. I just gotta go in with more. I'm gonna go on the tip of my nose, on the cupid's bow. I'm gonna go in with a little bit on the brow bone because why not? Every time we turn this way, we wanna get a little bit of a highlight right there on the brow bone as well, you know? Why not, right? Why not? Why not? All right, all right, all right. So that's it, you guys. That's what we're going to end it right there with the highlighter because then I'm just going to go in with more and more and more and then it's just going to be like, boom, highlighter all over the place because I don't know when to stop. <laughs> all right, so now for lips, you guys, I think I'm going to go in with this. This is what I really wanted to use today. This is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Venezia. Oh my God, I'm going to look flaming in this look today, like, okay. But before I go in with this, I do wanna go in with some lip liner and I don't think I have an orangey shade or whatever, so I'm gonna go in with maybe this red, but super light. All right, so that is that. I don't wanna do it too much. The one I used is the MAC Cherry Lip Liner. Now we're gonna go in with this. This is a matte liquid lipstick. And hopefully it's not like crazy. So I think I wanna use a brush for this just to get a little bit more precision because the last time I used this, it was just like all over the place and I did not like it. So I'm going to be using a brush like this because I can't find my other brush. So I'm going to be grabbing this Urban Decay brush and packing that on. I felt like when I went in with the actual wand of this lipstick, it was too heavy. And don't worry if you get some on the outer part, we can always go back in with some concealer to clean that up. Ooh, I love that color. It looks so good. Now I just need to go in with some concealer to clean this up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in with actually some of the foundation. So I'm gonna grab some of the foundation, which is the Estee Lauder one that I used today with a e.l.f. brush, I mean, a Wet n Wild brush. I'm just gonna go around. And that is the final look, you guys. I kind of want to add a little gloss to this just because. Just on the center. And the lip gloss I used is the Fenty Beauty. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. All right, so to finish off this right here, which I absolutely love, I think it looks so freaking pretty super bold <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to set my face with the morphe continuous setting mist all right you guys so this is the final look right here hopefully you guys enjoyed it I am definitely looking like a bag of flaming hot Cheetos what do you think I love it I think it's super different I don't think I've really done this I think you know what it is it's the lip and I actually really do love it I think it looks really good with the eyes and it makes everything just go well together you know what I mean it just makes the completes the look really well and yeah 
hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a big thumbs up also please don't forget to like share and subscribe if you haven't yet and i will see you guys on the next one bye